Hi guys, um, I'm going to show you how I would go about writing the um, summary of Freedom Walkers. Now before I ever sit down to my computer screen, I would do something called writing off the page. Writing off the page means you write on notebook paper um, something to plan for what you're going to write in your essay. And so I would start by just making a list of all of the events that you can remember from the chapter. So I would flip back to all of your notes, flip through the book, and just make a list. So chapter one and two, here are five events that happened. Chapter three and four, here are five events that happened. And just go through each section and just list out some of the major events that happened in the chapters. I would not even worry about the people and places and names that I said you need to include in your essay until the very end. Then I would go back through and make sure you, you found all the people. So to start off with, once I've made a list and I've done all that prep work, which hopefully your notes that you took for each chapter are really helpful for this. Once you have all that prep work done, then I would start my essay like this. My first paragraph, my introduction, first off, you need to say the title and the author of the book. So I would start by saying, in the book, I'm going to underline it because it's, it's a book, Freedom Walkers by Russell Friedman. Actually, I don't want to say in the book. I want to say the book, Freedom Walkers, tells the story of the struggle for integrated buses in Montgomery, Alabama in the 19... 50s. The reason why I'm not saying 1955 is because the story kind of takes place a little bit before that um, as it talks about Joanne Robinson, talks about um, Claudette Colvin, talks about all of these other cases as well that lead up to Rosa Parks. So I start, my first sentence is just going to jump right in and tell you just a quick overview. Now I probably have a couple more sentences. Um, Add three. Sorry about that. Phone rang. Paused it. Now we're ready to go on. So uh, I would add um, four more sentences. Remember, I said your goal is five sentences total per paragraph. Add four more sentences um, going over main ideas that you're going to talk about. Sometimes I even wait to write this introduction until after I'm done writing the essay. Okay? And when I say main ideas, I mean like uh, they started organizing uh, would be a main idea. The, uh, a bunch of people got arrested would be a main idea. Um, so the main ideas that you're going to talk about throughout the rest of your essay. So that's the first paragraph. Second paragraph, I would start with some sort of transition phrase like, in the first few chapters, blah, blah, blah. And then I would say four or five things that happened in the first couple chapters, probably chapters one and two. Then I would say in the next few chapters, I know that's really deep thoughts right there, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this one I would probably do chapter one and two, chapter three and four, and the last, let's see, maybe for the next paragraph after that, and then talk about chapter five and six. The book ends by talking about, and then chapter 7 and 8. Okay, so that is the body of your, your essay. Just a quick main points from those chapters. And then your conclusion, I would wrap this essay up with, the overall lesson that you could learn from this book. So finally, 
I might even mention the title again. Freedom Walkers. Oops, I just realized I forgot the S up here. Finally, Freedom Walkers taught, taught a valuable lesson about how when people come together for one purpose, they can accomplish a lot. And then maybe a couple more sentences about um, just some of the highlights that you mentioned earlier. Okay, so that is how I would frame out my essay. This one uh, comes out to be six paragraphs instead of five, which is fine. You have to have at least five, but six would be great too. Now, that's one way of doing this essay. Okay, I'm going to show you another one. An alternative would be something like, instead of going chapter by chapter, you could come up with some different themes. So like, let's get a new page. So instead of these middle chapters, I might say, there were many important people in involved in the boycott and then one whole paragraph could be about uh, all the important people in the boycott also there were some important victories in court and then talk about the court cases talk about people getting arrested, um, and then finally maybe one section about uh, third, there were a lot of, maybe not a lot, but there were some struggles along the way. And then talk about some things that people struggled with. So option number one, you've got your introduction and then divide it up into four paragraphs uh, one paragraph for every two chapters option number two you could divide it up into three different sections like people important victories they won and then maybe some struggles okay and maybe not important victories in court just victories in general there were some important victories either one of those would be a great way to summarize the text the main thing is is you want to make sure that everything flows together. You've got a nice sequence of events. You've got um, connecting uh, items that connect each paragraph, so transition phrases, linking words like also, third, finally, second of all, in conclusion, things like that. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. But this is just a quick overview of how I would write that summary. But don't forget, I would start by doing that off the page writing where you're writing in a notebook a list of things you want to make sure you include all right good luck bye guys until next time book it forward it'd be awesome bye guys